The AH-64 Apache stands as the most accomplished attack helicopter ever created, emerging from the necessity to combat the most severe threats on the battlefield. The AH-64 gained prominence during the First Gulf War, where it truly established its reputation. Since then, it has undergone numerous enhancements to maintain its relevance, and its future is projected to keep it operational until 2060. Let's explore what makes it so exceptional and what these new advancements entail. But before we dive in, if you enjoy this content and want to see more like it, remember to give us a thumbs up. In the 1960s, the U.S. Army introduced its first attack helicopter, the AH-1 Cobra. Designed for the jungles of Vietnam, the Cobra proved effective but had notable drawbacks. Its single-engine design limited payload and altitude capabilities, making it susceptible to severe failure if the engine was compromised. The Cobra also lacked advanced targeting systems and long-range armaments, forcing crews to engage in dangerous close-range attacks on enemy positions. During the Vietnam War, over 5,000 helicopters were lost, a rate considered unsustainable. The Soviet Union's advanced air defenses further emphasized the need for a durable and survivable attack helicopter. Essential features for this new aircraft included twin engines, an armored cockpit, and dual rotor blades to endure hostile conditions. In 1972, the Army's vision began to materialize. Hughes Helicopters developed the first prototype, the YAH-64, which took flight in September 1975. By 1984, the AH-64 Apache entered service. The program shifted to McDonnell Douglas in 1985 and eventually to Boeing in 1997. Since then, Boeing has delivered over 2,700 Apaches to the U.S. Army and international allies, with more than 1,275 still in active service worldwide. The Apache has amassed 5 million flight hours, including 1.3 million in combat, highlighting its extensive operational history. The Apache first saw action during the U.S. invasion of Panama in 1989, where its precision and firepower were crucial in neutralizing key targets. Its capabilities were prominently displayed during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, where it played a vital role in destroying radar sites and armored vehicles. The sight of Apaches decimating enemy positions became one of the defining images of the conflict. Beyond these high-profile wars, the AH-64 has been a critical asset in peacekeeping missions in Bosnia and Kosovo, providing close air support and reconnaissance for NATO forces, demonstrating its versatility in low-intensity conflicts. During operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, the Apache was indispensable in counterinsurgency missions, offering precision strikes and intelligence support to ground troops. It has also been deployed in Turkey to combat insurgent groups and protect strategic areas. Additionally, Apaches have participated in operations against ISIS, showcasing their ability to adapt to new threats and evolving combat environments. The Apache's performance is driven by two GET-700 turboshaft engines, each generating up to 1,695 shaft horsepower. These engines provide a top speed of 189 miles per hour and are equipped with infrared suppressing exhaust systems to reduce vulnerability to heat-seeking missiles. The helicopter's four-blade rotor, made of stainless steel and fiberglass, can withstand 23 mm rounds and is designed for transport compatibility with aircraft like the C-17 Globemaster. Safety was a top priority in its design. The Apache features boron-armored canopies, crash-resistant seats, and a resilient airframe capable of withstanding ballistic impacts up to 12.7 millimeters. These features ensure survivability even in hostile environments. Central to the Apache's battlefield dominance is its armament. The helicopter's primary weapon is the AGM-114 Hellfire missile, a laser-guided anti-tank system with a range of 5 miles. This was a game-changer doubling the range of the older Tau missiles and enabling the Apache to destroy Soviet tanks from a safe distance. With a capacity for up to 16 Hellfire missiles, a single Apache could theoretically eliminate an entire company of tanks. The Apache's versatility extends to other loadouts. For example, it can carry eight Hellfires alongside two pods of 19 Hydra 70 unguided rockets, ideal for engaging infantry and light armored vehicles. Alternatively, it can be equipped with four pods of Hydra 70 rockets for maximum firepower. The only built-in weapon on the Apache is the M230 chain gun, a 30mm cannon capable of firing 625 rounds per minute. Loaded with high-explosive dual-purpose shells, this weapon is highly effective against personnel, 
light vehicles, and lightly armored targets. The gun is paired with the sophisticated Target Acquisition and Designation System, TADS, allowing the gunner to aim simply by pointing their head at the target. One of the Apache's most revolutionary features is its ability to operate effectively at night. The TADS and Pilot's Night Vision Sensor PNVS, allow crews to engage targets under the cover of darkness, providing a significant tactical advantage. The system can detect thermal signatures from running engines, exposing camouflaged vehicles. This capability also enables Apaches to see through smoke, neutralizing enemy concealment tactics. To remain at the forefront of modern warfare, the Apache has undergone numerous upgrades. The AH-64E Echo, or version 4.5, is the current standard, but Boeing is already rolling out version 6 with plans for version 6.5. These updates focus on performance, usability, and future adaptability. Version 6.5 aims to standardize software configurations across the fleet, minimizing the need for extensive retraining when transitioning between units. It also adopts an open systems architecture, facilitating seamless integration integration of new technologies. For instance, upgrades like Link 16 communication systems or advanced radios can be implemented without requiring factory modifications. The upcoming version will also integrate the General Electric T901 engine as part of the Improved Turbine Engine Program ITEP. This new engine delivers 3,850 horsepower, significantly enhancing range, payload, and overall performance. Boeing is exploring additional refinements, such as relocating the radar from its mast-mounted position to the fuselage to reduce drag and improve efficiency. With modern battlefields becoming increasingly complex, the Apache's design focuses on reducing pilot workload. The Active Parallel Actuation System APS, a new feature introduced in version 6.5, provides tactile feedback, such as soft stops on controls, to alert pilots to power or torque limits. By allowing pilots to focus on the mission rather than managing engine performance, APAS enhances operational safety and effectiveness. Boeing is also integrating new technologies like launched effects, small aerial drones that can perform reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or decoy functions. The Apache's advanced helmet-mounted display system, similar to that of the F-35 fighter jet, projects critical data onto a visor, improving situational awareness for pilots. The Apache's enduring success lies in its combination of firepower, survivability, and adaptability. It has supported ground forces in high-stakes conflicts, peacekeeping missions, and counterinsurgency operations worldwide. From disrupting tank formations in Operation Desert Storm to providing reconnaissance in Bosnia, the Apache has consistently demonstrated its value across diverse combat scenarios. Looking ahead, Boeing envisions the Apache serving well into the 2060S alongside next-generation aircraft. Craft. Plans for a modernized Apache include a redesigned fuselage for extended service life, expanded capabilities, and an open systems approach for effortless upgrades. Lessons learned from recent conflicts, such as those in Ukraine, highlight the importance of adaptable counter-UAS solutions. This underscores the need for a flexible, future-proof design. From Panama to Iraq and from Afghanistan to Kosovo, the Apache has cemented its reputation as an indispensable tool of modern warfare. Its ongoing upgrades and commitment to innovation ensure it remains a dominant force on the battlefield, capable of meeting the challenges of tomorrow's conflicts. What are your thoughts on the Apache? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.